Well, I have finished up the forward cabinets, which you can see behind me, and now we're gonna move on to the cabinets on the side of the trailer. I hope this will help you guys get some ideas for what you may wanna use your trailer for. There are lots and lots of guys out there doing this. This is what I'm gonna put in my trailer, which will work for me. I suspect I'll make some minor tweaks and adjustments as I get the tools put in here, but for now, let's go ahead and get the cabinet carcasses built and get them in here. Did you see my fence slip right there? This is the reason that double checking your measurements is super important. So you're gonna see me double check the measurement and then move the fence over and lock it down properly and then slice off that extra little bit.
Now that I've got the cabinet carcass built, I'm going to go ahead and install all the drawers. Actually, I'm going to build the drawers to install the drawers before we haul it in there. It's frustrating when you make mistakes and when you're building cabinets or anything with expensive plywood, which it's really frustrating when you make mistakes because you potentially end up wasting large amounts of material. It's taken me quite some time to understand what I did, why I did it, and how I'm going to fix it in order to not have to waste a whole lot of plywood. Imagine that this is a longer piece. It's actually supposed to be one of these. Imagine this went all the way across there. But you see the problem is there's a big gap here. There's no plywood there. I got ahead of myself and I cut the plywood bottoms the wrong dimension. And it looks to me like I 
measured 22 and a half and I marked 21 and a half, so I'm an inch short. In order to not waste a whole lot of plywood, I'm going to go ahead and cut down the drawer sides, which are these short ones, which will allow me to use the bottom panels that I've already cut. This isn't a critical issue in that these are for As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my air compressor. This isn't a critical problem in that I'm building these cabinets for my trailer and losing this extra inch isn't critical in the door drawer depth. I'm gonna go ahead and shorten up the sides. I'm gonna chop off that extra inch. But all that being said, measure, measure, check, 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 cut a few, try a few. Don't do the whole process as you just watched me do on this video. I did all the processes. I didn't double check as much as I should have and now I have to correct for a mistake in order to not waste a bunch of money and go buy new plywood in. With the climate of the world right now, um, going to the hardware store is a little bit more cumbersome than it used to be. We're gonna go ahead and chop off the sides of the drawers and that will allow us to put the drawers together and move forward with the build. At this point, I have <laughs> trimmed up those drawer ends or drawer sides to get everything to fit together properly. So I'm hoping to uh, assemble some of the drawers at this point and uh, go from there. So let's start with one of the small ones, make it easy on ourselves, hopefully. Is our first drawer box. How that turned out. So there's the sides. You can see those double pocket holes I unfortunately had to redo when I cut this down. Now that all of the drawers have dried, so all the glue is dry on these, they are basically ready to install. We're going to get the uh, drawer slides out and get them put onto the cabinet itself. Um, I ordered 10 24 inch drawer slides off of Amazon. When I install these drawers, I'm gonna be trying out my drawer slide jig from Craig for the first time. So we're gonna get that opened up. So in my case, the drawer slides just mount right flush to the front of the cabinet and they're spaced off the bottom by a quarter inch. Once we get them in place, we take the provided screws and attach them.
not going to go anywhere. You can let go of it. Now that this is in here, we need to get it attached to the trailer. So another level four and out, and we need to get level five side. Well, the structure is done at this point. Well, we're gonna install some drawer fronts. one installed so for those of you might be unfamiliar with CA glue this is CA glue and this is CA glue developer this stuff is super fast drying super glue basically it's industrial super fast drying super glue you put this on the product that you want to glue you spray it with the developer and you have two three maybe four at most seconds to get it in place and where you want it because it's gonna harden up instantly and you have the potential to ruin whatever you're working on if you don't do it fast enough. There's a lot of other ways to do this. This is just the fastest way that I know how, um, and it works really well as long as you don't screw up. So hopefully this all goes well. It usually does. So here we go. So there's a big glob of CA, another one, and another one. And we hit it with the developer. And we quickly put it in place. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And... Presto, CA glue, absolutely amazing stuff. Well, not our last one, that's our fifth drawer out of, uh, I don't know a lot. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with installation of the rest of these drawer faces. That is the exact same process I use for all of these. Really happy with the way they're turning out and we're gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of them. This is going to wrap up this large cabinet build. Unfortunately, because of how I filmed, I'm not going to be able to zoom back and show you what it looks like finished. But tune into the next video and you'll get a close-up personal picture of this one and how it turned out. I definitely learned a lot from building this cabinet, which is part of the goal for me. I really hope you guys got a lot out of this. I hope you got some tips and tricks potentially for your cabinet build for your trailer. But until next time, thanks for watching.